father's in music, so he started um, Bangra music in 1967. So he's in the Guinness Book of Records for starting Bangra music. So you can imagine my house full of just instruments and costumes and rehearsal stuff and you know I was a very um, how can I say a rebellious child where I wanted to know exactly what was happening and why it was happening and what it sounded like and that's probably what made me get into Bangra music simply because it was originated from the house Mel band um, and he always encouraged me to sit in the corner at the back and just see those just play I was like all right as the time went on and I grew up I thought you know what I can do this myself I don't need 11 men to sort a, a live band out and then um, with the push of my father um, I started my first drumming class in 1999, we started to develop some sort of recognition. Um, over time, we started to get bigger events. So instead of small community events, cultural events, we started to get big festivals like Glastonbury. Uh, and then from Glastonbury, we went from, the, from Glastonbury to, went to Graham Norton Show, from the Graham Norton Show we went to BBC, and then from the BBC we went to Bollywood. And our stages just went bigger and crazier and massive. And, you know, from two friends that performed at a local charity event 18 years ago, over time, because of the expansion of the group and people started to hear, whoa, eight, eight drummers, wow, let's get them here, let's get them here. That popularity and that demand started to approach and then I had to make more hours in the week to come up. So we did nine, you know, from six hours, we went to nine hours because the classes were just getting big and our demand was getting big. And um, 18 years has been amazing. <laughs> 